we are on our cruise however this table seems a little large large house sir I don't know it just feels like I'm in a boardroom or something I'm gonna sit a little bit closer I think the next night we're gonna take the cozy cozy approach and get the other restaurant I like the intimate tables intimacy is always a good thing Mr. Davidson. If I didn't know any better, I'd say someone is getting a little sleepy. Mr. Davidson, I'm just resting my eyes for my second wind. Don't worry. A girl can hang when a girl wants to hang. Tonight, I choose to hang, sir. Okay, okay. I'm just saying. I saw Betty by in her eyes. Betty by, Betty boop, 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 be doop. I'm tired, half masked. I can't hang tonight with Mr. Davidson. I just can't do it because I'm Dr. Sarota Williams and I'm sleepy. And my eyeballs are closing. You're getting sleepy. You're getting sleepy. <laughs> Mr. Davidson, do you think you're Perry White or someone? Trying to be a lawyer and something. Hypnotize people. Yes, the defendant did it, Your Honor. He just did it. And I saw him myself. And that's why we're prosecuting him. Because he did it. And we said he did it. And he did it. Is that what you're doing, Mr. Davidson? Well, you do look sleepy to me. <laughs> I mean, let's just face it. Eyeballs closing. I'm looking at a very sleepy young lady, but the day is early. We can probably take a nap and we can continue this at a date later time this evening. How about that? Why don't we set all this up and do a, a date this evening? We don't even have to drive back to our room. You know how to get those arms unfolded, don't you? I'm, I'm feeling, yeah, uh, possible possible things can happen tonight yes have you ever been to i know you've been to hawaii but have you been to Pu'u, una, 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 una? yes i've been to the land of the second chance it's something you definitely don't want to play with well mr davison i've never been and i was hoping maybe you could take me I've uh, never been through there twice, but I guess it couldn't be no harm. I suppose I could take you. Maybe, well, let's spend a couple of days here and we'll think about it. How about that, my love? Say that again. Uh, say, say what? You know what I'm talking about. And don't keep me waiting for it either. Sounds like something I can definitely get used to hearing around here. Dexter. My love. Do you see the subject, young man? 
sure you see the subject. I got an eye on something. I need to study this a little bit more. I'm trying to focus it in as we speak. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I can spot dolphin in Florida faster than this. What's taking you so long? You're supposed to be looking for an old guy with a blonde wig on. Old guy, blonde wig. I'm getting close. I'm getting real close. Mr. Davidson. Mr. Davidson. Hello, Mr. Davidson. Dexter. Yes. I don't know why. I just feel as if I'm being watched right now. Just give me, a, give me a couple more seconds on this. Mr. Davidson. I don't know if it's just suspicion. I just have a feeling down my spine. It's real quiet kind of feeling, but it's still there. I know it's there anyway. Uh, maybe it's nothing. But I'm thinking, sir. I think we'll follow the ship's itinerary. I don't think they know I want it too far off of that. Oh, all right. Got it. Yeah, let's move in. I'm going to jump in my chopper and follow you. Grandpa, out. All right, got gotcha. you. I'm on the way. I don't know what I'm thinking. Let's let's get dressed.
Some people will say, why you just bob around in a boat? You're flying an airplane, but as you can see, it's an airplane boat. Or an amphibian, as we all call it. I like her, I call her old canary. She's faithful, though. Let me just settle down right over here. I like this little bay area here in Jamaica. Brings back some memories. There was a time when Richard and I were hanging out. But you know Richard, he gets me in trouble a lot of times. Uh, meet me in the back. Meet me in the back. We'll park here for a while. Well, Mr. Davidson, you don't think it's weird that I feel like someone's watching me, do you? Uh, no, no, of course not. I mean, every now and then some people feel something, but usually it's nothing. Well, I, I guess it isn't. See, now that's better. How do you like your meal? How's your steak? Well, I see it's big. And it's brown, and it's big and juicy. There's a lot of juice coming out of this steak. This is a good looking steak. This steak looks so good. It, it even smells good. I don't know what this is, T-bone? Yeah, I can I can get it to some T-bone right about tonight. This is, yeah, I like this steak. It's a good steak. It's nice and juicy, Mr. Davidson. Okay, um, yeah, that's great. H how about the wine? Did you get enough wine? Actually, yeah, I've been falling a little behind on the wine. I need to pick it up just a little bit, maybe, because we can't have the behind. We can't get too far behind on the wine, because the wine will get behind us, and I think it's better. If we're behind the one, I don't know what I want to say, Mr. Davidson. Maybe you can help me with this one. Because according to my theory, it seems like things are not coming quite out right now. Well, my dear, it seems as if you had a little bit too much to eat. We're going to have to maybe wash that down with a little bit more wine. What do you think, young lady? You still look young, you know. Don't start blushing. You still look young. Okay, Dexter, if you say so. It just seems so weird calling you Dexter. I like Mr. Davidson better. It keeps things in perspective, but things lately have been getting all misconstrued, and, and now I'm feeling a little different than I did last week and the week before. I don't think it has anything to do with the wine. I really don't, Mr. Davidson. Of course not. Uh, would you excuse me for a minute? I need to get up for one quick second. Sure thing, Mr. Davidson. Don't be long. Sometimes I get a little lonely around here. Ma'am, are you enjoying your stay? Yes, I am. I am definitely enjoying my stay. I want to thank you for your service, and this restaurant is excellent, and the food is really great. Sure, madam. I am your personal purser, and here's my card. If you need anything at all, anything, just give me a call. That's a special number. Nobody has that number but you. Yeah, but what if I... Anything. Uh, honey, who was that? 
I don't know, the pressure or something. He promised me a good time. <laughs> oh, we got jokes. We got the J-O-K-E-S. Please don't let me go there today. <laughs> you really have jokes today. Well, Mr. Davidson, according to your records, you're not jealous, so why are you so concerned about this gentleman? I mean, just all of a sudden, I mean, earlier it's no problem, but now it's like, who's the gentleman? I don't know who the gentleman is, Mr. Davidson. Perhaps you should go and follow him and find out who he may be. Sir Rhoda. No, Mr. Davidson, you go ahead and follow him and see where he's going. He may be outside of our room. Maybe that was the guy that was watching me earlier that I was thinking about, since that's part of my imagination today. I never said you were imagining things. I, I just said maybe you need to take it slow and relax and give your mind a chance to defocus on everything. Just take in the scenery, take in, take in life, take in what's going on right now. That's all I'm saying. Boo. See, that's not playing fair. You never called me that before. You never called me boo. Well, what's up with that, Mr. Davidson? What, what is the reason behind this cruise? Is this a booty call? Uh, that, that, don't you say it. Of course, it's not, all, it's not always about that thing. It's not. <laughs> I, mean, I, I can't say it. <laughs> Straight face. <laughs> it's not. Please believe me. <laughs> See, you're not supposed to look at me like that. <laughs> See, Mr. Davidson, you guys always take the advantage and think of us ladies as just whatever at your whim back in call. But I beg to differ. What happens if I happen to be supercharged one evening? Yes, yeah, supercharged, just me. I'm just... So supercharged that you don't have enough energy for me, Mr. Davidson. I don't care whose superhero you are. Okay, I'm only going to say this one time. See, first of all, you are insinuating that I was insinuating something that you may have been insinuating. But as you can see, it was a phenomenon of the imagination of magnitude of such force that you yourself, which haven't quite a high intellect has an issue with the intellecticity of the situation. So looking at all the data above, the theory is that, you know, you may not exactly know what's going on, right? Well, Mr. Davidson, since you think I am clueless as to what may be going on in the conversation or the complexities of such severity, that in such cases... It has been my case study in the past that gentlemen with such intellect and such great, 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 great smarts and, oh, they're just so debonair and they're just like Mr. One. They have a very small chance of being in a horizontal position with a young lady. Now, how far you want to carry this argument? I'm done.
Dude, I'm gonna ask a question. Do you think, I mean, why do you think that I would end up with my cable always going out? My cable just seems to always go out. I don't know what you mean, man. What's going on? Dude, it's out right now. Dude, look at it, man. Look at my cable, man. My cable is out right now. It says, one moment, please. I'm, I'm getting sick of it. I'm tired. Let, let me get on the phone here, man. They're really time cash cable. I'm thinking about getting rid of them. Tell my speak to Tom Cash Cable, please. Tom Cash Cable. No, not not Comcast. No Comcast. That's a different company. Tom Cash. T O M C A S H. Tom Tom Cash. Now you got me saying cable. Look, I don't even want to argue today. Just send the technician out. What time? Thank you. So is it me or them? You think they got it in for me? What, what's up? So what do you think, man? You think they got it in for me or what? It's like every other day this cable goes out. I don't understand. Yeah, you really can't say. Even. I don't think they have it against you, man. I think it's just a little something, something you might be going through psychologically. Just give them a few minutes, man. They'll come out and fix your stuff, man. I got a cousin, man, works for, works for cable. Who knows? He's around this route. They might send him. Okay, personalized service from a relative. Now, when was the last time I heard that and it worked out? Let me think. I, I was in Cincinnati once. I even went to Dayton. Okay, how about D.C.? No. Pittsburgh, maybe. Right. Uh, no. No. Man, you'd be surprised, man. Sometimes them relative discounts work out. Just talk to him, man. Talk to him. Just ask him, you know, ask him if I'm his cousin. He'll, you he'll, man, he always, he do, he do right, man. Do by right his people. Do right by his people. Anyway, it's been real. I'm getting ready to run home, man. Just holler at me in a day or two. We'll do something. Later. Who is it? Tom Cash Cable. You got a problem with your cable, man? Yeah, come on in. We're gonna help you with, sir. But my cable keeps going out, and I'm tired of calling. I'm trying to find out what's up. Y'all got some info, brother, or what? Now, Tom Smith is a good friend of mine. He told me he mentioned his name to one of y'all. Might be his cousins or something. I don't know. Well, sir, I'm, I'm his cousin. Yeah, you see, because cousin connect never worked for me. You know, you got a brother over here, the relative over there. They're supposed to be cutting your deal. Nobody want to cut your deal. Nobody want to be bothered. Nobody want... Wait a minute. You say he's your cousin? Sure, man, so what can I do for you? What's wrong with your cable today? Well, as you can see, it says one moment, please. So I don't know what's wrong, but I want it fixed. Well, chill out, my brother. It might be out there on the pole. I'm going to go outside and check outside. I think it's outside. And once I check outside, if it's still not fixed, I'll check inside. But it looks like it's outside to me. Give me a few minutes. Hello, Maggie. Yeah, the cable's out again. The guy's working on it. He's outside. He said the problem's outside. The problem is outside. It's nothing I did. Maggie, why you always want to blame me for stuff? It doesn't make sense to me. You're blaming me for the TV. You're blaming me for the other thing the other day. The computer was a problem. You try to blame me for it. It's not me all the time, okay? We need to sit down and talk anyway. This relationship is not working. No, not working. 
ain't married to you anyway. So I'm just saying, you know, would you need help? I think the problem might be inside. It's not, not outside. Let me look at this real quick. He's looking at it right now. Let me call you right back. Let me call you right back. Bye. Hey man, I, I'm just sorry about, about my attitude. I apologize. Just a little hyper today, that's all. That's all right, bro. You know. I get used to it sometimes. Customers get kind of nasty to us. They think we messed up the cable. Actually, we're just from here to fix it. Try to get y'all back going again. Matter of fact, I think I got this problem solved right here. Ancient Chinese secret. Simple fix on this one. What ancient Chinese secret? I don't know, dude. I just heard it on a movie once. No problem. Just, just messing with you. You need to wind down a little bit, man. You know what? You know Cousin cousin Bozy. You know Cousin Bozy. Yeah, yeah, out of Florida. Yeah, I know him. That's my uncle. You know what? I think we might be kin. Maybe that's why we sound alike. Hey, maybe. Tell you what. Here's my card. Give me a call. We got a family reunion in a couple months. I'll be in touch. Anyway, don't worry about it, man. If you have any more problems with your cable, you just call me. That's my private number. Keep it in the family, right? By all means, cuz. By all means. Yeah, look like that family can... <laughs> That family connection worked out for you after all, didn't it? I heard what you were saying about us. That's okay. It's no secret between us, cuz. Cable company, we know everything. <laughs> Don't take it personal. Just say, you're glad you got a guy on the inside. See you later, cuz. Later, my mysterious cousin. <laughs>